from Dubai police. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, please, can you have a seat? Oh, yeah. Come on, bro. This is a private hotel. An air, a fucking massage in the airport. Wow. Of, um, April last two. 6.40 in the morning, Dubai time. I'm about to go catch a flight. We're done in Dubai. We're done in Dubai. What I do when I'm checking out the hotel rooms, one second. What I do when, I check in, when I'm checking out the hotel rooms, I'll check the bathroom. Blew myself in the mirror. I'll check the bathroom. Okay. It's all clear. So I'll close that. Turn the lights off. And then I'll check over this room real quick. I travel light. I'm launching all that shit. Rubbish. Okay. Then probably forget something because I'm filming this shit, eh? Anyway, checked over that room. Close that door. Oh. Wait. It's good to turn the lights off, I reckon. Oh shit, oh, now I'm scared. And then I just farted by the way and I walked through the fart at that point. And then that room's checked by Jamo. That's Jamo's room. Jamo, what's going on, mate? Ready to go, all packed up. Let's we're send all, it. We're all done. Dubai's done. Early flights. Okay, say goodbye to this balcony. Love you, Dubai. Bye next time. Until next time, not bye next time. Until next time. Saying goodbye to um, Rixos Premium. Jump in the cab. I love the early uh, starts, but I'm going to miss this place, but it'll be mad to look back. But you know what, guys? Oh, man. We've got some big travels coming up. All right, so I've just said to Jamo, he's like, how much does this flight cost that you're getting on? And I go, oh, a couple of dollars. How much did your one cost from um, Dubai to Bali? Dubai to Bali, um, a thousand. A thousand, yeah. And then mine's... Mine's like a little, I think it's like $40 more or something. How many, how many thousands of points? No, no, it's just dot. So mine's like, I think it's, I don't know, it'd be like 40 or $50 more. Show us what you got there. Is that what you got? No. What do you got? 8,500. Show me, bro, where's that? Can you see that, guys? There you go, eight thousand five hundred. Oh, eight thousand one hundred dollars. Eight thousand one hundred. Oh. Eight thousand one hundred and fifty-one for fourteen hours and thirty-five minutes. Laying down, massages, um, nice food, drinks. Mind you, I'm in the middle. I'm gonna be like this. I'm gonna have to set the tone and like. Put the arms out. No, there's a Straight there's out. an un there's an unwritten rule. I think um shout out to Jonathan Clark <clears throat> from the Clark family. He actually um he said airplane etiquette. It's like when you're travelling in an economy, don't take your shoes off, they say. Yeah. Which I don't know bro, when I'm in economy I'll rip my shoes off. I'll rip them off and if I smell something I'm like, oh better put them back on. <laughs> and then what's the next one? Um, the elbows front forward. Oh yeah, elbows. So the middle has the elbows to the back. So the middle gets a comfortable elbow seat. That's what he's saying. Maybe look it up. Jonathan Clark's video on TikTok. No, I like what Flight you said. Flight etiquette. Flight etiquette. Yeah, what what just what did I say? I like what you said because I've never heard of that this front and back thing because now I feel a bit more confident chucking my arms up if I see where they're at. I try to... But you got to claim way. it, bro, that you're at the back. Like you always, in the middle wants to be in the back. Okay, all right. Let's go, Jonathan Clark on TikTok. Okay, we're actually gonna watch his vid, guys. We'll get it up. Here we go, Jonathan Clark. On airplane travel. And what I've noticed is there are a lot of people out there who have no idea when it comes to airplane etiquette. So I'm gonna hit you with my top five. Number one, keep your shoes on. And if you need to keep your shoes off, put some socks on. There's nothing worse than sitting next to someone who's got their dogs all out in the open. It's just not cool. Number two, if you're on a short haul flight, don't recline your seat. Short haul flight is... What? No way. 
Yeah. Like the reclining seat is happening no matter what because there's always going to be someone in front of you that wants to recline and it's just dominoes. Bro, effects. listen, you're about four foot eight as well and you're out here reclining seats on people my size. All day long because everyone does Oh, it. one second. Here we go. It's all happening. Police bike. One to two, probably three hours max. Obviously, if you're on a flight that is three to six or you know, a medium haul or a long haul flight, by all means, recline your seat. However, don't recline your seat if the person behind you is eating a meal and just do it with a bit of courtesy. Number three. Are you reclining if they're eating a meal? I don't care. It's just like traffic. You're not going to stay in this lane like this guy is because there's lanes either side and you go up. So if you don't do it, someone's going to do it. I think the taxi driver's going, what's this bloke talking what about? What happened? <laughs> nah, you're very good, brother. We're yeah. doing uh, YouTube, YouTube. Yeah. Very good driver, eh? Yeah. All right, number three. Yeah. Keep your shade. He is keep your shade down there. Yeah. Obviously, you have to keep your shade up when you're landing or taking off. But if it is early morning and people are trying to get some rest, don't be that person. Number four is use headphones. If you're going to watch something on your phone or your laptop, don't have the speaker up so everyone can hear what you're watching. It's Yeah, you're not going to watch... Fair call, fair call. You're not going to be, if there's some bloke just fucking blasting a movie, I'm going to put it on him all day. We, yeah, will you say something? Yes. 100%, like, the whole plane is just waiting for that male, alpha male, to say something. Because everyone else is just dealing with whatever crap he's watching. Number five. Not cool. And last but not least, number five is the person in the middle seat gets both armrests. If you're on the window seat, you get the window, you get to lean up on the side of the plane. If you're on the aisle seat, you get the aisle, you don't have anyone sitting next to you. But the person in the middle gets two armrests. That is the unwritten rule. In my top five, what's one thing that you'd add? I can't wait, I can't wait. I've got so much more confidence. With maybe me film, maybe get that video, I'll save it. Yes. And then if someone actually tries to say, oh, yes. just be like, no, Jonathan Clark said, this is fucking the etiquette and that's what happens. Okay? Yeah, that's it. I'm going to be doing it. I might just play it. I, I can't just... believe if I'm ever in the middle, bro, I'll elbow this bloke until I'm about to get in a fight with him. No. Because, like, I don't know who the fuck they think they are, but they start, like, like shoulder elbowing you and that, and then it's like, yeah, bro, bang. You know what I'm saying? It's fucking on, like, Donkey Kong. Anyway, um, yeah, so if you're in the middle, guys, make sure you own that seat. Guys, from the middle of the Australian Outback, I packed this little bag. I don't know if you recall, but I was driving to the gym with a dumbbell in my car and I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go and film in Brisbane and then me and Jam are on the phone. And what happened, we go? It was like, oh yeah, we're going to Uluru. Next minute, we're in Dubai. For three weeks, we went, oh, we went to Thailand. So the Australian outback, Thailand, and then in Dubai. Three weeks of travel, it's been amazing. I've been loving it. I haven't even been to Uluru and I haven't been to Darwin. I'm gonna have to go back to Darwin since it's raining. Oh yeah, we went to Darwin for 12 hours, guys. It's been a funny thing, but it's only the start. So let's get this um, $8,100 flight started. I can't see straight. I'm tired. I just asked Mans, I go, where's business checking? And he goes, straight and then left side and fucking points right. I was like, I don't wait. The cars are opposite, surely not the, um, surely not left and right one way or the other way. And I was just about to buy Jamo a fake passport cover because he's always like, I'm going to change passports and, oh man, it's too early. I got one, one eye open. Get me to the business lounge, man. I need a, I need a feed, bro. What else do I need? I need to upload a video. So much I need to do, man. Huh? All the way down the bottom side, the colours change, so I'm guessing that. Business class check-in. Let's rumble. Business and golf. 
Oh, so I don't want to get my hopes up, but the lady was just like saying, she's like, why didn't you book in first class? Because I'm uh, Qantas Platinum. And I was like, oh. I said, what's the difference? She goes, oh, it's a red screen. So see the blue screen just here? It's a red screen and I'm like, it's all good, I'll just book in here. So I'm booking in here, but then my uh, I can have access to the first class lounge. So business and first class lounge, that's gonna be definitely different. Hopefully they let Jamo into the first class lounge, but um, we're gonna go check that out. Jamo's been demoted, guys. His gate is 25 minutes of a walk away. Mine's only just up here, but also like, Guys, I'm not rubbing this in, but I've kind of supported the whole the whole trip, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's been an amazing time. And just with the flight, flight things, like, I've been building up points for a long time, so that's kind of why, or I managed to um, get platinum with, uh, with Qantas, so that's why I can travel and do a few little travel hacks. But other than that, whatever goes on, goes on. All right, Jamo's off to Bali. We part ways right now, guys. Big love, my bro. That was fucking sick, man. Honestly, bro. Safe flight. I would never forget it, but it's not softy. We're just, it's not we're just parting ways to come back together again. Yeah, 100%. We just got to get over to Australia and then reset. There's um, a lot of adventures coming up, guys. Get hyped on it. Jamo, big love, bro. I'll big talk love, to you man. soon, all right? No word of a lie, guys. Like, Jamo's just walked to the right there. Like, with friends and family. Bro, I struggle with goodbyes. Like, it gives me, I don't know, it just makes you, like, you you should always appreciate, like, everyone, but it's just like, fuck, you know, like, I'm, I'm sending 15 hours one way, and then the best way for Jamo to get back was, um, how, how was that? Bali, and then to, then to Australia. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, also, my my flight, it's not eight hundred, it's not eight thousand dollars. It's through points, so I've built up the points. I needed to use the points by, I think it's like very soon. So it's through points, and I just I'll fly like this. So yeah, but um, big love, Jam. If you're watching this, mate, safe flight. Now where are we going, bro? When I'm by myself, I don't know what I'm doing. What's that? I can't even read. London Gatwick. Yeah, London sounds fun. Manchester? Bro, send me to Manchester. Wait, A1 to A24. Let me check this. Bro, when I'm on my own, I'm just on. A16. Okay, get me on the train, bro. End of story. Get me on the train. Get me to the lounge. And everything will be all good. So I'm pretty sure I can board the um, the flight from the first class lounge. There we go. Emirates first and business. This has been my first time in um, Emirates first class lounge, so bring it on. I've done the business lounge here, but um, I haven't done the, I actually feel guilty fucking flying like this and going in here, but I'm six foot eight, so I need to, one second, what's that one? Business and first. Why is there two sides to it, bruv? Anyway, I feel guilty, but also I'm six foot eight, bro. Like, I ain't fucking sitting on no normal seat. End of story. Let's see how fancy. Bro, one second. Did they just say there's a spa on this level? Oh, listen, mate. I got no idea what I'm doing, but there's a... There's duty free on your own. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, and this thing here... Look how big that thing is. Oh my god. What about this? Should I grab that and take it on the um on the floor? Maybe, maybe not. What about the gold label? Oh she What about one second? What oh, I'm gonna just cop all these vapes. I don't even vape but it looks sick. Oh what else do we have here? Siggy's left, right, and center. Surely that's not one pack. Is it one? Oh my god, 600. <laughs> that's funny. 
Um, fine wine and cigars. We might as well go in, boys. Just remember, I'm in the lounge. I'm in the lounge and there's cigars. Are they cigars or not? I don't know. They look cool. Oh, here's cigars. What's that, bro? Do you open these up? I don't know. I don't know anything about this stuff. I definitely don't smoke, but it looks cool. Cigar and wine cellar in a lounge, bro. What else have we got running here? Royal Salute. Is that a good alcohol, guys? I have no idea. It looks fancy. Come on, bro. They got their own little glass shelves. Show me this. This thing's got its own little light. King George, Johnny Walker. Johnny Walker, Johnny Walker, get out of here. Take me to the food. Okay, here we go. Hello, how are you? Where's the food, sorry? Food? Yeah. Uh, don't have some restaurant. Okay, restaurant downstairs. Okay, and where's, um? so is there food near my gate or like, if I'm at gate. Oh, you can do a check the counter. There is a door check the counter as for the. Okay. But is there food down that way or just uh, food? Still, uh, I think they have it, but I'm not asking them. Okay, thank you, thank you. Bro, <laughs> I've got no idea. We'll go down here. She said there's restaurants. It'd be rude not to. Bro, surely this guy's not going to give me a pair of shoes. Hello. How are you? What are you doing with the shoes? Clean some, shoes. Some, clean shoes? What? Man's just cleaning shoes for people in here. Do you work here, boys? Do you work in the lounge? Okay, what are some cool things to look at in the lounge? The food? The food is there, then uh, we have... Uh Washing facilities, shower facilities. Yeah. But then also we have sleeping area facilities. You can sleep here? Yes. Yeah, a bed? Yes. Bro, where is it? Come on, I'm doing a YouTube vlog, man, so I want to look around. It's it, yes, sir. So you can actually, there's a room for sleeping? Yes, yes. So it's almost like a hotel? Yes, yeah, Come on, bro. This one's only for the smoking. Okay, so there's a smoking lounge? Yeah. yeah. Can I have a look in the smoking lounge real quick? Come on, get me on too. One second. Oh my God. Okay, there's a smoking lounge. Yep. I don't like smoking. <laughs> oh, the doors are hard to get around. I'll tell you that much. So is there one? Oh, there's, can I? Okay. Oh, be quiet guys. Sleeping. Okay, let me see. How are you, mate? Oh, so you just go to sleep there. Just pull up and start sleeping. Okay. Come on, bro. This is a private hotel. Little hotel going on here. <laughs> Let's go. I've never, I've done business class lounges, but first class, okay. this one's off its head. Anything else? Is there massage? No. Massage is of course. Up. After huh? the reception, when you outside the reception, yeah. on right side there is a massage center. Is there? Yes, sir. What, you just start that getting massages? Yeah. But that is actually not belongs to us. That is uh, doing by another uh, third party. And then you pay. That is, that is uh, for first class person, that is complimentary. It's complimentary yes. for first class? Yes, yes. Fuck, that's sick, bro. <laughs> yeah. Bro, you can get massages in here, no way. Um, yeah, closest to the food, I reckon, yeah. Just here, I reckon. That's right. Right. Yeah. And you can order also from the menu. Okay. And we send someone to assist you. Thank you. You're Thank right. you. Okay, so we're pretty much in a small restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just making noise. <laughs> oh shit, man! I've almost just smacked me back. Okay, look, they're actually going to send someone over to um to assist me. I think. Like you can order. <laughs> You know how at the business lounge you go in there and you check out like you go in there and you you have to get your own food so there's like a buffet thing but here and also in Qantas um, first class 
you'll have like a table service. So let's see what happens. All right, so guys, if you want to order right now, just scan the QR code and then you'll be away. Oh my God, the hot chocolate, mate. Bring it on. It was half full. Makers I would have spilt it everywhere. I'm such a, like, I don't know, I like seeing stuff full. Ask Jamo, ask anyone. I eat so fast, also drink so fast. Okay, now I've got to upload a video for you guys. Let's go. All right, so it's a bit early, guys, and I don't really want to eat too much before the flight because I'm going to get absolutely loaded up with food on the flight. We've just got some eggs and some toast. I don't eat bacon, but we've got some bacon. We've got chicken, sausages, tomato, that green stuff up there, and some onion. I'm going to have a little bit of a snack, and then um, we'll jump on this flight. All right, so I just got pulled up for filming. Um, but it's like, if I'm walking around like this and then holding the camera at me, like, like, could you imagine being a, a person walking towards me? It looks like I'm pointing the camera at them, which I'm not, but they're like, just make sure you don't film people close up and stuff. So if I'm walking like this, I've actually got the camera pointed like I'm filming someone, which I'm not. So, um, that's all right, but quiet lounge. Oh yeah, that's a sleeping lounge there. I love that. Okay, yeah, you just gotta, I've been mindful, but I also deal with it. It's like, I know I'm not doing anything wrong, but right now I'm about to walk up to someone and then it looks like I'm filming them, but that's all right. All right, so I'm gonna pop past the spa just before I go to the gate. Um, I'm just back at the, I need these videos to download. Like the Wi-Fi in here is definitely not downloadable Wi-Fi, but we're getting it done. And then I found out that the spa is like on my way to the gate, so there's no point walking all the way up there and then walking back to get like, to use this internet. Unless I go to the gate now and then go check out the spa. I might, you never know. It's too early for this shit, to be honest. Guys, I wanna go on a bit of a rant. I'm like, just cause I've got a GoPro, there is every single person in this world is carrying an iPhone, yeah? And like, you can be in the back of someone's photo, like someone can be standing here right now, getting a photo next to the first class lounge sign, your head's in the background, bang. No one can do anything, no one can change anything. But then as soon as I'm walking around with a GoPro staring at it right into the screen like a crazy man, everyone's got an issue with it. I just don't understand, it doesn't make sense. Like that person that complained about me filming, it's like, bro, I bet you their heads, like, imagine, okay, you go to the theme park, you've got 40 people on the roller coaster, and you don't want a photo, but the other 40 do. Bad luck, bro. Bad luck. All right, so apparently the spa's over here. Is this a spa? Woohoo! This is a spa. Is anyone getting massage? Hello. Hello. I'm just doing a YouTube vlog. Is there, the, I just want to, look at the spa, a part of Emirates, you know, having a look. Can I just have a look around or no? Where is it? Oh, nice. Where's the room? Is there a salon? Hello. Is there a salon in here? What? Can you, can you get your hair cut? Salon, what's the salon for? Really? I'm just filming myself, not you, by the way. I'm just listening. So, so you can get a haircut while waiting for the plane? Yes. Sir. What else can you do here? That's it. Manicure, pedicure, manicure massage. pedicure, massage, and get a haircut. Wow. That's pretty cool. Hmm? Not all airports have that. That's pretty cool. <laughs> can I have a look in the room? Okay, guys, you just heard it here first. You can get a haircut in the airport, bro. Come on. Come on, shun. <laughs> An air, a fucking massage in the airport. Uh, your hair washed. Oh, shit. No way, should I get a haircut? <laughs> bro, I cannot believe you can get a manicure, pedicure, a massage and a haircut all at the same time. 
Wow. Can I look at the spa room or no? Where is it? Down here. This room is for um, pedicure room. Wow. Yes. And this room is for uh, facial. You can get facials? Yes. Come on. What's the next one? What else? Okay, pedicure, manicure, facial, or oh, all the same, all the same. This room is for manicure. Oh my god, okay, yeah. Okay. And this room is for the back massage. Back massage, express back massage? Yes. Wow. Same massage here. Yep, same. And this is for a long treatment, like a whole body massage. Whole body massage, yep, yeah. okay. Yes. See? And this is for the... Oh my god. Put it there, that's cool. Thank you so much for it showing is. me around. That's cool. What else do you got? Sure. Uh, nothing more. It's the same like there. Yeah. Oh, in the wedding area. Wow. Guys, did you just see that? Manicure, pedicure, massage, haircut, all in the same, all in a lounge. That's crazy. Emirates first class, guys. Let's go. Let's get on this flight. I'm going to repeat myself real quick, guys. Manicure, pedicure, haircut, full body massage, foot massage, all in a first class lounge. Nah, come on, bro. What's going on here? Is there any... Oh, there's jewelry for sale. A bit of perfume, cologne. I think this is a video in itself. Sam, what do you reckon, mate, watching this back when you get to this point? Is this a video in itself or do we keep running it? I can't believe There's free money. There's free money. Dubai, duty free, free money. Give me that money. No, that is so interesting, eh? Oh, here's electronics as well. Here we go. Gotta love the electronics. What do you got for sale? iPhone? Yeah, boys. Jewelry. Pens. Anyone want to buy a pen? One second, bro. That pen seems like it's. That pen might be seven hundred dollars. Yeah, maybe I'm not spending that much on a pen. That's for sure. I still can't get over the um, manicure and pedicure. Is that a Rolex? No, no Rolex. What about this one? Few watches. Yo, how are you? How are you? Yeah, good, thanks. Just a second, please. Come on, you sit there. You want to talk to me? Come sit there. Yeah, just a second, I'm writing your number. Come on, you sit there. Come sit there. This boy wants to talk to me. How are you, brother? I'm good, brother. How are you? Good, thank you. Uh, this is Mohammed. My name is Mohammed. Yeah, yeah. I'm from Dubai Police. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, please, can you have a seat? Oh, yeah. What are you traveling to? Ah, uh, Sydney, man. Sydney. How are you, please? Yeah. We, they said something about filming, huh? filming people or something. But I didn't. I don't film. I was just looking around. Um, Some people we got the complaint, so there we go, guys. Let's send it. Business, eh? Business Emirates. I'm a bit drained. Some stuff just happened, but I'm a bit drained. Get me out of here, guys. That's what I think. So drained, man. Crazy, crazy times. Where are we? Got that number. Shit, I didn't even check. Oh six G. Let's go. 
guys, we're on um, the business class seat now. Just had a bit of a run in with um, what's been going on. I was filming in the lounge and not meant to be, but that's all right, it'll all work out. That's what it looks like anyway. I'll keep you up to date with the dishes. Pretty drained to be honest. We've got 7,561 kilometers till Brisbane and we land in um, we land in Brisbane at about 6.40 a.m. I think. Just trying to get some videos downloaded. So you can actually watch the live air show guys when we're about to take off. We'll go through the cameras. What's this one? Is this the top of the plane? Oh the ground. Okay. What's this one in? Oh, this is the top. Wow, look at that, that's funny. One, two. Brisbane. Heading to Brisbane. We're just there. Where are we gonna fly to? We're gonna fly all the way down. Oh, here we go, it's a little movie. through what happened so I was filming the first class lounge and I got um, what happened I got so I, I, I might have filmed someone that wasn't meant to be in a video um, an undercover police officer come up to me addressed me said yo delete that footage there was about 30 40 minutes like I've been sitting on the plane it's now 11 40 I've been sitting on the plane for that long like with so much anxiety going like because like, I don't want to do these videos in a negative way and do negative stuff to people, you know. But I'd film someone that had, I uh, didn't want to be on camera, become a bit of an issue. I was super drained, like, I didn't even want to pick up the camera for the last whatever. I don't even remember the last clip. Um, but we're in the air now. I was thinking I was going to get in shit, to be honest. Like, it's like the way that the whole police thing happened I was like oh my god I just spent this long in Dubai and had so much fun and you know tried to document so well and then this happened I was like whoa that's not good anyway um, I'm gonna quickly run you through what what comes on the business class flight so you got a pillow you've got a blanket a big blanket you've got space for your feet there and then this chair will lay down flat just like this so it'll lay completely flat i fit in here as well so that's pretty cool um we've got headphones we've got slippers slippers and eye marks we've got the new these things guys so we've got new pajamas second day that they've ever been released second day they've ever been released emirates emirates um loungewear let's go and then in the little bag oh wait we're gonna crack this open one second oh. Here we go. We've got shaving foam, a razor, deodorant, tissues, a little brush, dental kit. What else have we got? Oh my god. We've got a little, um, show me this. Bulgari, I'm pretty sure this is Bulgari, right? Bulgari something. What's this? Is this cologne, bro? I've got a little cologne there, Shay. What else? Lip balm. Another Bulgari. Okay, I've got to chuck all that back in. Okay, now for the, oh, the lights that call behind me, oh, for the food, 
Let's get through here. Okay, what are we gonna order? Bro, I had so much anxiety, I'm not gonna lie. There's a couple behind me and they know how much anxiety that I had, I was freaking out. Okay, breakfast. Are we gonna do breakfast or are we gonna do lunch? Oh no, I'll let you know what I order. Guys, I'm legit snuggled up right now. Just let my mind relax a little bit, you know, I'm trying to feel good. Um, there's my legs, just down here, they're funny as fuck. Now I'm watching a bit of Jake Paul and uh, George Janko. We've got some peanuts and a Moroccan tea. Peanuts and a Moroccan tea, baby. How many hours do we have? Bro, we've only just taken off, let's be honest. Alright guys, we've got the first little uh, starter. We've got some mushroom soup. We've got some bread. We've got some salad. a long way <laughs> it's probably only an hour and a half into the flight or two hours and um, I'm gonna eat this and I'm gonna finish this episode of um, the George Janko show and then pass out all right guys we've got eight hours left <laughs> how long was this flight 14 hours and 15 50 minutes here's the flight So the ladies just brought me around this shit. I don't know. Oh, not shit. Sorry, it's nice, but this it's some chicken. I don't know, chicken something. Let's go. It's actually an Arabic dish, apparently. Some little balls. I don't know anything about this stuff. Here we go. Ready? guys eight hours left seven hours and 59 minutes let's go all right guys we've got two hours and 16 minutes left um, i've just been i've been drinking heaps of cup of teas and whatever else in the bar a bit of chocolate cup of teas it's been an amazing flight emirates airlines oh my god absolute spoils anyway two hours and wait what's that 10 hours and 49 no thank you <clears throat> so I just said to the lady, oh, I'm just going to come up and vlog the um, bar. And she goes, oh, okay, mister, let me just uh, replenish the bar for you so it's, um, you know, as people would see it. So she's full, <laughs> she's full replenishing the bar for me to, like, film it. I'm like, usually people are like, ah, oh, don't film, you know, get upset and stuff. Anyway, oh, it's been a mission, man. I've been on this plane for 12 hours. <laughs> I've lost the plot. Where's my light? Turn my light on. Oh, there's the light. Portable charger. Right, well, we've got breakfast coming as well. All right, so guys, I'm in the bar right now. This is spacious as I've been sitting here for the last two hours, kicking back with this new friend that I met. And then we've been getting served drinks, cup of teas, coffees, any drink you want here. It's, it's all complimentary. It's been amazing. Then we've got a bit of, uh, sorry mate, how are you? Got a bit of bread. Bit of fruit here. Uh, what have we got here? Peanuts. Oh, yeah, hey, I might good. actually grab that. Sounds good. Here we go. We've got two hours and 15 minutes left. Okay, we've been on the flight for 11 hours and six minutes. Absolute missions. I'll wait for this to pop up. I think it's oh, an hour and 58 minutes left. An hour and 58 minutes. Please, let's go. And then this is breakfast, guys. So an hour and 58 minutes before you land. Blueberry muffin croissant, fruit platter, I don't know what that is, but I don't want it. Pancakes, apple juice, and I've got a tea on the way. Let's go.
So I get in a taxi, guys, and I want to go across to the um, domestic airport car park. And then this guy makes a big deal. I said I'll tip him $20, yeah, $40. And, um, and he won't move because I'm in a massive rush. There's a free bus over there, but it's like, bro, your job's here. So if he doesn't take me over there, I'm gonna call him a gronk, all right? If he takes me over there, that's all right. But there's no way. Bro, it's like taxi drivers are, are scammers, man. It's so annoying. It honestly is so annoying, and then he's gonna push me back to the back of the line. Look, they're fighting. They're arguing out there. They're arguing, see? Look, he's upset. Oh, I'll film, I'll film. Come on, bro, let's go. Uh, yes, not I'm going, brother, just two hours waiting inside. Bro, it wouldn't have been two hours, I'm yes, telling I'm, you. I'm not, not, not pick up, not that You won't go? Yeah, I'm all lost. I'm free, I'm not pick up either. Why, why, why no, why? Uh, no, brother, I'm brother just... it's only to the thing. I'm two hours waiting for here. That's Just a, only twenty dollars you. But I'll Just give here. you forty dollars. Just here for free bus. You want to put me? You want to put me to the back, bro? I've got money. How much do you want? Because you're starting to piss me off, bro. I want to go. I'm listen, I, I, listen. I'm doing YouTube right now, bro. Why are you not? Why are you not? I need to go. Yes, You've I'm, got a job, bro. You've. I just I'm waited not. in the line, bro. Starting for just starting time, first job. I just f flew you, fourteen you are, hours, bro. Ask, ask me. Just you driving on here. You okay. drive taxi. Just first job. I'm coming okay. for twenty dollars. Why are you? Driving? I'll give you forty dollars. Listen, I just went. Brother, I, I was just. I just flew fourteen hours and then had to wait in security for three hours and then I wait in the line for the taxi, bro. And then you want to try and kick me out of the taxi, bro? Come on, switch on, man. Switch on, big fella. No, it's okay, no problem. Free, free, you drop, no problem. That's all right, mate. See what happens? It happens on the big jobs. Starting for fuck off. Bro, go make some money, mate. Do you know what I just went through to get out of the airport? Do you, do you know? 14 hours on on a flight, and then I wait for taxi in the line, security as well, and you, then you want to tell me to get out of the cab, bro? Come on, man. Well, uh, I just gave him. I just go, after that argument, I felt bad and I gave him 50 bucks. I was like, bro, take the 50. He's loving it. Look at him. Take the 50. And he even got my, um, he even got my bag out of the boot. In Australia, it's very uncommon. It's very uncommon for people to get their bag out of the, um, out of the boot. But he got out, got my bag out of the boot. It's fucking 6.30 a.m., bro. I can't see straight. Been on a flight all day. Tries to kick me out of the taxi. No way, bro. There's no way I'm doing that shit. Get me to my car and then I'm gonna tailgate someone out the out of the car park. Guys, if you like the vlog, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Your boy Luke Owen, and I'm signing out. I'm I'm actually in a bit of a mood. It was just such a big mission to get back. And then I get back to Australia and I look around and I go, Am I even gonna vlog here? Nah, we'll get them done, yeah boys. I'm actually gonna film me after three weeks leaving the Tesla here. I see what the thing looks like. Imagine if it's just smashed up. Where did I leave it, bro? See if it's got any damage. We actually test drove a model, but I actually forget how to drive on this side of the road and everything. That's my car, eh? Is it? Yeah, the Tesla. Bro, it might stink in there as well, you never know. Yeah, she clean all around. <laughs> Let's see if it still works. One second. Fuck, bro, it's weird being back here. Should have just stayed overseas. Here we go, ready? Oh, bro, it's purring. The engine's purring like crazy. Chuck this in the boot and on our way. Holy shit, bro, it stinks in here. Is there water? Yeah, it's eh? Bro, let's go. How many kilometers? 196. Bro, easy work. I'm actually happy being back in this thing. What a mission, man. What a fucking, what a time. I outroed the vlog, now I'm driving again. Shit. All right, anyway, see you guys.